everyone, this is Mei Yu and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week I did episode 2 of Animate My Life. I'm really glad you enjoyed it and thank you all for sharing your embarrassing moments and stories. I love reading them. Many have asked me to do more from these past Fun Friday videos. So today I'm going to do famous couples as opposite gender. Let me know which couple is your favorite. This will be the first time I draw couples together as the opposite gender. I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I love putting this video together. It'll be interesting to see how these couples turn out. Let me know who is your favorite movie, show, or game couple in the comments. I chose these two characters because I love the designs and also Tim Burton. Trying to design Jack and Sally's gender bin was challenging because at first I didn't really know how I would handle Jack's female design and how Sally could look more masculine. For Jack, how would I treat his outfit? Eventually, I decided to keep female Jack with just the skull for the head, as that'll be closer to the character. One thing I really liked was putting his bow tie and making that into a cute bow on her head. I think it's adorable. For the outfit, I gave female Jack a cool skirt with long, thin points to make it look like it could belong in the Tim Burton universe. I also exaggerated the jacket collar. Because I gave female Jack a skirt, the leg bones will be showing, and I decided to make them long and stylize them to how I think they should look like. As for male Sally, I designed the hair shorter and I gave him a cute scruffy hairstyle and made the body a bit masculine. I did want to keep Sally's long neck, big eyes and those very interesting lower legs. I also kept Sally's stitches. For her dress, I turned it into a shirt and long shorts with similar patterns. I had to be quite careful when inking female Jack's outfit because I needed to preserve those very thin white lines for the texture of the outfit. I tried my best to use the markers I had to get the colors as close as possible to the original characters.
If you're a Tim Burton fan, which movie is your favorite? It's kind of hard to pick, huh? Mine are Sweeney Todd, Corpse Bride, and Edward Scissorhands. In case you haven't, you can see how I designed Edward as a female in my first gender bend video. I think Nightmare Before Christmas is one of the most iconic and well-loved. Drawing these two is really fun. I try to keep the sizes similar to their original. I think it's different and interesting. This movie was one of my favorites when I was little. Lots of great memories. I've drawn Belle before as a man in this past video, but here I wanted to make the design a little different. Okay, however, Beast was really challenging to design as a female. I love drawing them dancing together because it's such an iconic scene in the movie. I was spending lots of time sketching out ideas for Female Beast. My first few sketches looked really, um, scary. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all the time I was like, uh, she should look feminine but still like a beast. So how would I handle her features? I was going through sketch after sketch on how to approach this, and finally I decided to give her a smaller nose and fangs, and shape her face like how Disney likes to design most of their leading female characters. Beast has big, expressive eyes, so I made sure I gave her that. And for the hair, I went with a beautiful full hairstyle, complete with a blue bow that Beast has in the back, uh, but not like that. When I was designing her dress, I wanted it to look very fancy with lots of fabric, but different from Belle's dress. I knew I didn't want to give male belle clothing that was just like the same yellow. I wanted to give it more depth and variations in color to make it more interesting.
I like how Female Beast and Male Bell has that similar hairstyle in the front. It's like they're alike in some ways. I thought that was really cute. As for Female Beast's body and outfit, I decided to give her a bigger frame since Beast is bigger than Belle, and I gave her a really fancy dress with lots of detailing. I tried to get the closest colors I could with my markers to Beast's original outfit with my own artistic take. Like my previous couple, I'm trying to show the characters which are different from what we're used to seeing in movies, where the man is usually taller than the woman. Also, I was thinking, since Beast is so much bigger than Belle, I like to make female Beast bigger than male Belle. I feel this is similar to real life. We've seen some women who are taller than men. I had fun coloring both characters, and their skin, the fur, and the outfits. I love the dress design I gave Female Beast. It looks royal and luxurious. Balancing the features was a little challenging at first, but I really like how they turned out. Beast looks beautiful, and male Belle looks handsome. This is so romantic. <laughs> they all turned out so adorable. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for supporting Art and my fun to draw channel with your likes and subscribes. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. In case you want to check out my new art featured merchandise, clothing, and home accessories, my shop link is in the end card. You can tap or click to go right to my shop. Happy shopping!